hello friends today we'll be talking about you know how to install multiple versions of python on your system some of my friends requested for this video you know sometimes there might be reasons why you want multiple versions of python on your system for instance you have a dependency you want to install which is not compatible with the current version you have so therefore you need to install an older version but at the same time you don't want to uninstall your current version so you need two versions on your system so i'm going to walk you through the steps to achieve this now first of all you have to install visual ends that is uh, the python library we're going to be using to create our visual environment so visual env we have our terminal open on VS Code here. So uh, what you use, let me... So clear my terminal. So you have... So this is the code, the command you use. Python-m pip install visual amp. I, I'm, I'm using Python-m dash, uh, dash because I don't have pip on my as environment variable so I, I can't use pip install directly I have to add python dash n so that's why so don't be so people will not be confused about it so this is how I create so I, but I'm not going to run it because I already have visual env installed on my on my system so after installing visual env so the next step is we we'll, you go to you you download python so we'll be going to uh, the Python website to, to to download Python. So when we go to Python website, so this is Python website. From here, we can install. So we can install Python. This is the latest version of Python as uh, at the time of recording of this video. That's Python uh, 3.11. So uh, but. Uh, we already have this one installed so let's assume you want an older version you can look for older version here or if if, if you are if you are using a windows machine you can just go here click here and you see you can install older versions of you know of python so after downloading the older version of python you install it so i'm going to show you So if you if you see now you will see all the versions. If you see here you can see you have uh three this one is three point eleven, this is the latest version, this is three point ten, this is an older version which I you know install so the I I have them in the Python directory on C drive. So after downloading and installing the next thing you do you create you know a directory for your project so i will show you let's go back to vs code yeah if you go to the vs code i already have you know a directory created here so this is my directory for my project already created so after that now we now have to create our virtual environment so we run this code this command so we run that command to create a visual environment it's very simple i'm using python dash m visual env then dash p then this is the directory of my python you can see this is uh, the directory where i have the older version installed and this one my virtual and um, that is the name of my visual environment so if i run this code it will create my okay it's running now okay you can see it has created the virtual environment for me now after creating the virtual environment so you need to activate it so to activate it so we're going to activate it now 
use this command to activate it so if you go here go to script you can see this activate that, that that's what you're running so you run it from here to activate the virtual environment so you can see it's activated now so you, we have it this is the name of my virtual environment before my directory comes you see that's the name here so that's it so it's activated so after activating you can now install all your dependencies you want let's say you want to install numpy let's assume we want to install yeah so it's installing numpy yeah so you can see numpy is installed so after installing numpy so you may want to create uh a requirement dot txt file so the reason for creating requirements dot txt file is to it will have like a copy of all your dependencies so that in case maybe you want to install you know you want to move this project to another system so if you it makes it easy to install dependencies you just run pip against that requirement of txt file and it will just install all your dependencies it makes life easy for you so if you want to do if you want to generate that uh, requirement dot ps uh, dot txt file it's just it's nothing but a text file we just run this code you know we do pip freeze it will generate you see it has generated requirement if i open it you can see I have my no the numpy which I installed is right there. So this is how you you know how you can run multiple versions of Python you know on your system depending on your project and what they want depending on dependencies. You can run multiple you know versions. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, please don't forget uh, to subscribe to our to our channel and also like the video. Support us. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.